uh, a teacher of mine had this, uh, I, I don't know if I've shared this before, but this is like a beautiful way of putting it. When Westerners come to him, they often ask like, how do I find my true self? How do I find my true self? I want to find my true self. And at first he like had no idea what they were talking about. It's like, what do you mean your true self? Like, you're right there, you know, like what? And the translator explains to him that like this person isn't contacting their authentic personality, so to speak. And basically he was just like, we just remove everything that's not you. Like, that's it. You're like, you're in there. We just like purify in other, in other words, purify. It's like putting the person through a strainer, all the debris, all the life experiences that uh, left wounds, all of the stuckness and holding patterns and these beliefs that are rigid and all of that. We threw a strainer, collect it and clear it away. And what's left is the truth of that individual. That's the process of purification. That's where, as we said, the, the benefit of meditation, trans, true transformation actually happens. And all of that sort of uh, unconscious tension, you could see it like, and maybe you even feel it. It's like being, walking around with metal bindings, you know, that are restricting the expansion of your personality, of your mind, of your skill set. Everyone here played basketball, like, or, or I'm not sure if you played basketball, but a little, bit. a little bit, yeah, so most of us did. And those games where you're just like, oh, man, I'm not myself. I'm like caught in my head, and like, these guys are outplaying me. Why is this happening? My coach is a dick. Like, uh. That is a restriction of what's inside of us. That's happening every moment of every day on some level for all of us. None of us are expanded fully, and... Um, the process of purification is what allows us to. It's like, uh, has anybody ever heard of Michelangelo's David statue? The David in Italy, very, very famous statue. And one day the Pope came up to Michelangelo as, he, as he's like creating this statue. He's like, how are you doing this? It's so intricate. And like, he's like, it's easy. I just remove everything that's not David. <laughs> Again, same thing. Just remove what's false and what's true remains.